How's it going YouTube? Dom here. In this video, I'm going to talk about what you should do if you're struggling to find a job as a junior developer in 2023. Now in the midst of the recession with the economic downturn, a lot of people are getting laid off and it's understandable that the people that are struggling the hardest are new grads, people trying to change careers, you know, people with very little experience and I can speak from personal experience firsthand. So the purpose of this video is to give you some action steps to implement in order to overcome this because you know as you know the market has gotten very competitive not just on the junior developer side but in both sides in general you know you see a lot of these coding boot camps show up universities are offering like these crash courses there's udemy there's coursera so there's a lot of information out there and as a result a lot of people are learning and then now you have a lot of competition so the biggest thing that most junior developers will struggle with is how do i stand up so that's exactly what i'm going to address in this video and the main key to this is volume now what do i mean by volume well if you're a junior developer you know there's going to be a minimum set of things that you need to know in order to you know be employable as a junior developer right so i'm going to speak from an ios perspective so typically you would want to know how to parse a json put it in a table view you know also maybe use core data that's going to get you 90 percent of the way but in a competitive market such as today what you need to do is you need to know more than that right so let's say back to the ios example maybe i want to learn ar kit maybe i want to be on top of swift data which is the core data replacement that's coming out today you know maybe i want to do some other libraries maybe i want some exposure to apple's vision framework you know i want to go above and beyond and know more than the competition right now the next step usually is let's just say that you have accomplished that and now you're to the uh, application side right now most people and this is something that I struggled with earlier on is I'd submit a resume and then you know it get to the employer and either the ATS would automatically reject me or I just would never hear back from them again so what do you do in this situation well as a junior developer again your key is volume instead of just sending a resume you want to send an email to the recruiter right and you don't just want to stop there you want to go one step up and you want to contact the hiring manager and i know a lot of people online will say don't reach out to the hiring manager but in my opinion i don't care because when you're a junior developer you really have nothing to lose right so even if the hiring manager gets pissed off that you're reaching out to him there can be a hiring manager that will appreciate the fact that you really separated yourself from the rest of the competition and then you take it a step further and you go to the direct reports that you're going to be working under right so let's just say that i found a job posting at a big tech company under their finance department for example i'm going to look for a senior software engineer at the finance department and i'm going to send him a message i'm going to introduce myself it's like hey my name is Donald. I'm a junior developer. I'm just getting into the industry. I just wanted to introduce myself. You know, I have XXX skills and X tech stack. And, you know, I'd love to hop on a phone call with you and discuss what you guys have been working on. Right? A very simple pitch like that. And then take it one step further and go to the tech lead and go to the CEO if it's a smaller company. Reach out to every person that you can in order to uh, try to separate yourself from the rest of the competition because honestly a lot of people are not willing to do this or they're too lazy to do this and I will admit I was a victim to this I was you know just in bed you know submitting resumes on Indeed or on LinkedIn and I wouldn't get a reply you know and I get mad at myself I get mad at the market I would blame you know there nobody's looking for a developer but when I started to annoy people more then I started to get the results that I wanted now let's just say that you have managed to land the interview and you go to the coding interview now you could just do the blind 75 and that would probably get you to you know about 50 75 percent of interviews that you would end up clearing but that's just not good enough again you want to apply volume if you're a junior developer because if you 
if you're a junior developer, the one thing that you hopefully have on your end is time, right? So there's going to be a lot of candidates, you know, they're going to be very stringent on the things that they're looking for on the algorithm interview. You know, when it wasn't too competitive, maybe they would give you an easier problem. Maybe they give you fizz buzz or maybe they give you two sum. But, you know, the more candidates there are, the more strict they're going to be. You know, if you don't get the ideal solution, they're going to reject you. If you don't get the solution to the hard problem in the most optimal time solution, uh, the time complexity rather, or and space complexity, they're going to reject you. So what do you need to do? You need to learn every single algorithm inside out, just like if you were a computer science major. It, you need to know the best, most efficient, most optimal time and space complexity solution that you could possibly get. And the only way to get there is to do the work and put in the hours on leak code. I know because I have been doing a lot of leak code. You know, I started my channel doing leak code that these problems can be boring. These problems can be difficult, but you know what? In a very competitive market, that's really the only thing you can do to stand out. You have to, from the moment that you have your personal projects all the way to the coding interview, be the person that they, they say, wow, this candidate is unbelievable. Now, yes, you can get here by sheer talent, but if you get into this point in the video, you probably... To be honest, you probably don't have the talent because you wouldn't be watching all the way to the end of the video. You been, would have been making uh, your YouTube channel on Day in the Life as a Facebook software engineer as of now, right? So this message is really for all those that are struggling, that don't have luck on their side, that don't have their cards played right. The only way you can overcome that is to apply volume at every single stage of the step. So I hope that video was helpful. I hope it provided some value. If it did, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit subscribe as it really helps support the channel and lets you know that you enjoy content like this. And of course, just leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below. Let me know what kind of content that you want me to make in the future. And without further ado, I'll see you on the next video.